Right, today we're going to be doing an install in a 2011 Cadillac CTS. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do to get the radio out here is we're going to take these two trim pieces off here. Uh, for that you just need any pry tool. I have a metal one here but you can use any plastic one. And so this piece right here will come off. Uh, there's three clips. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Three clips there as well. Uh, after that, you're going to want to take the shifter off here. Again, you can just pry up on that. Um, once you have that loose, we'll go ahead and go to the next step. Uh, you're going to want a 7mm. Uh, you can use a drill or a ratchet. We're going to take the two screws out, one down here and then one over here. Next step, we're going to have to move the shifter back, so we're going to have to turn on the vehicle. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and turn on the vehicle. You don't want to turn the vehicle fully on, just enough that uh, the ignition's on, or the accessory, and then we'll shift back. And then you'll pull the shifter up, turn that sideways, and then this whole trim comes off here on the bottom. So the next thing we need to do is remove these. So there's one panel up here, as you can see, two clips there, it goes right here, and then we're going to take off this panel up here to the right, uh, you pry down along the whole thing, and then it goes to the side. So as you can see we've got all the clips here, and then these two here are why you need to shift it to the side and then pull down. Now that we got those two trim pieces out. We can go ahead and pull this fully out. Uh, I take my pry tool up at the top here. Pry out. I know I've got this all loose. Try not to hit the windshield wipers. And then you can unplug the back of this before shifting back. Uh, the two plugs are going to be here and the cigarette lighter as well. Those are just two little retention clips right here. And there's one on the cigarette lighter as well. All right, now that we've done that, you can put your shifter back in place and shift back into park. And the next thing we're gonna do, um, also you wanna make sure this is up during this part of the install. The screen needs to be up so we can pull it out and get behind it. Uh, so we're gonna start taking our seven mils out on the radio. just those four, the two on the sides, the two here. Uh, don't forget about these pegs as well whenever we put it back in and of course when we take it out like this. Uh, so before we undo that fully, we're gonna take out the screen. Uh, there's a bolt right up here uh, to the left side of the screen right here, one over here and one at the bottom. So I'm gonna start with my bottom one. I'll go to this one. So now that we've got the three screws out, you can tilt the screen down a little bit and pull it out. Uh, then we'll start doing our disconnects back here. There's going to be three plugs back here. We're only going to be using one of them during the install. Um, as you can see, we've got the screen out here. So you've got one screw here, one screw here, and then one screw over here. So that's the side. Alright, and now that we've got the screen out, we can go ahead and pull the radio out as well. Uh, the first plug I would undo would be the quad lock. That's the big square lock on the back left hand side. Yeah. Alright, once you've got that loose, you'll see the radio kind of comes out a lot more. So we'll start disconnecting everything else. Alright, so this is the quad lock here. We're going to be using this during the install be using, actually we won't be using that back here, so we'll just be using these two plugs here. So we'll go ahead and run our wires and we'll show you after this where we're running them to. Uh, for now the easiest way for us to just get them ran and get the radio back together 
is run them down through a hole down here. And so it came out right down here in the floorboard. We don't have to worry about that for now. Once we get everything back in, minus the bezel up front, then we'll tuck them into the glove box. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. So I always start with plugging in my quad lock first. I'm gonna make sure this clip right here clips into place fully, so it's nice and snug. After that, I'm gonna tuck it back just a little bit, uh, but make sure I'm not in the way of any other cables. The route those down on that. We've got the other side of our T-harness. Uh, again, female here, goes into the factory male. And these two parts of the T-harness gonna plug into the radio. So we'll go ahead and put the radio back in. I like to start with the longest plugs that I have. Let me start with that antenna. Put this one here. And when you plug the quad lock back in, you want to make sure that this is tilted as far down as you can get it. The, uh, the lock here, or the latch, uh, and then when you push it in, you'll see it kind of goes into place. And then when I push the latch back in place, it seats itself fully. Uh, so now we've got that seated. The biggest thing when you're putting this back together is getting all the slack behind this little groove back here. Uh, you don't want all your wires to get stuck behind the radio or else the radio won't go in all the way. So the quad lock of the T-harness, the factory one and our female side. I like to tuck those back as far as I can. That way I don't have to worry about them getting in the way. And so now that I've got that in place, I need to start pulling some of my wires around the back here to make sure they're not getting caught behind the radio, or else the radio won't go fully into place. And this can be kind of a tedious process right here, just trying to make sure you get everything tucked properly so the radio can fully sit into place. As you can see with a little bit of messing with it we can get it back into place if it's a little raised like this that's perfectly fine as long as it's not raised too much because these screws are going to pull it in and out okay. now that we got the radio back in place we're going to move to the display and this will be where the gdmf cable comes in so what we're going to do is plug in the female side to the factory one up here. And then this is going to go into the radio, or the display itself. And the way that I like to run this in these vehicles is take your uh, mail in here, the display port, run it around the top, and actually go over the AC vent. down the same hole down here by the floorboard. Right, and then all of our slack can sit in this cavity in here. Uh, when you do leave your slack in here, make sure it's not around the vent area right here, or else when you put the bezel in, it's going to get clamped in that. Just going to make sure it's off to the side. Now that we've got that done, we're going to take our display, plug in the GDMF first. And then this cable right here, we don't want it to get bent or anything, so I'm just going to stuff it right here. 
That way it's not in the way of anything. We don't have to worry about it getting caught. And slide your radio in like this. Plug in the two other plugs. And in this case, the radio went back down, which is not good. Uh, so what we're gonna have to do, turn the vehicle off. And we're gonna have to plug back in the bezel. Once the bezel's back in, you turn it on, you'll be able to open it back up. There we go. And uh, as you can see, the display is white right now. That's perfectly fine. That's right now we don't have the video cable hooked up to the V-Line. So it just doesn't have any signal right now. It's not that it's broken or anything like that. And I like to start with the side ones when I put them back in. Just make things a little bit easier. That left side. So now that we've got all that in, uh, we can go ahead and put the bezel back on. Uh, we're going to have to shift back down, turn this sideways, and then we can plug all this in. Alright, now that we've got all that back in, shifter back in place and um, we're not gonna fully put it back together because we do need to run the wires next so we'll show you that all right so now that we've got all the wires ran we're gonna go ahead and uh, screw in these two bolts here at the bottom those in we can go ahead and start assembling the rest of the trim here put that piece there and then with this piece uh, don't forget about these hooks here and now we'll be putting these in you can kind of tell which side they go in by their shape and you want to make sure that you get this little pen right up here. There. And now we've got everything put back together. 